Hey, Deployment Insiders, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be spending some time taking a look at the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, commonly referred to as the Intune Portal. Now, this is a platform many of you have adopted to help support the devices and applications across your environment. Today, we're going to zero in on the two deployment options available for Microsoft 365 apps and hopefully provide some tips and tricks to ensure the best application lifecycle across your organization. All right, so let's jump in. Now, there are two ways to deploy Microsoft 365 apps using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. The first option leverages a native app published by Microsoft. You can get to this by going to your apps, clicking on add and selecting the app type Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10 or later. This is going to walk you through a setup wizard, which leverages the office customization tool to help you build an XML and then assign the deployment to your devices. The second option is a Win32 app type. Now, this is more of a Swiss Army knife of options, can be very complex and provide coverage for a lot of different app types. But there are scenarios where using this with Microsoft 365 apps can help accomplish more complex deployment scenarios. All right, so let's take a look at some of the differences between the two. So first and foremost, it's important to understand that this is a policy-based application. When you're creating the app in the portal, there's no area for you to upload content. You do not need to define a setup argument or any type of detection logic. That's all handled in the policy. The only requirement for the admin is to define the XML that you want the Office deployment tool to execute. This is then received down to the device using the policy configuration service provider object in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Once the policy is received and executes, all the content will be dynamically pulled from the Office Content Delivery Network or Office CDN. Now, understand because this is a policy-based assignment, there's really two important things to keep in mind. First, you really don't want to create multiple copies of this application with different configurations and have them assigned to the same devices. That's just gonna cause confusion. The policies aren't gonna work. Don't do it. Number two, if you created your XML using the configuration designer in the app creation wizard, and the application is assigned to your devices as required, the application will reevaluate the XML and certain attributes can cause the application to reinstall if it detects a configuration drift. So for example, right now we have a lot of customers adopting servicing profiles moving their devices from semi-annual enterprise channel to monthly enterprise channel, and in doing so, causing a channel update. But they forget to go update their Intune app, and this causes it to reinstall, and you end up with a flapping behavior that you really don't want. So, summarize there, make sure your app settings match what you have defined in your environment for policies. A couple of other quick notes regarding this particular app type. This will always run as system. You do not have the option to change that. When you use the configuration designer, the option to force close apps is not set. So it'll essentially just fail in the background and provide you a notice in your deployment uh, report. Now you can change that by providing a custom XML, but keep in mind because it's running as system, nothing's gonna pop up to the user. So you're just gonna kill their apps and then they won't know anything. Uh, but in general, it's a great, simple, if you just need to get M365 apps deployed, it very quick to set up, and the content's always dynamic and update and current, so very little IT management. Okay, now we're gonna jump over to the next deployment type. The Win32 app type leverages the Intune management extension to deliver the application and execute on the device. Now, this differs from the policy CSP option that the native application includes. So from a troubleshooting or validation perspective, logging and events will be in separate locations. The Win32 app type also introduces a broader set of configuration options for your app. This is great, but also adds some complexity. For example, you will have content that you need to manage, and the setup of a Win32 app is a bit more complex in the number of pages and pieces of information you need to provide, such as a setup command and detection logic. 
but there are some real benefits here. For example, you can set a Win32 app type to run as the local user, assuming the user has admin rights. You can also adjust the detection logic if there's other variables on the device you wanna look for. And because you manage the content, when you create your Intune Win bundle, you can add a PowerShell script that wraps the ODT for any pre or post tasks that you might need to evaluate. So in general, Win32 app type is a great option, can still be very lightweight, for example, just including the Office deployment tool and your XML, but offer some additional controls if you have some complex deployment requirements. So to wrap things up, in this video, we covered the two available deployment options for Microsoft 365 apps in the MIM Admin Center, including an overview on how each deployment option works, what they bring to the table in terms of capabilities, and things you might wanna consider if you have or are going to be adopting these in your environment. If we didn't cover something in this video or you have any follow-up questions, please post them in the comment section below. We'll also include some links to additional resources in the description. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when additional videos are released. Until next time, keep on deploying.